Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new week. This week, we will cover the following objectives. The first lesson, we shall write, use an organizational structure to produce an introduction to your nonfiction narrative. So here you're going to um, reflect your understanding of the structure of a nonfiction narrative and write your own nonfiction narrative based on the prompt. So don't forget to review the TSR that will be discussed prior and reflect your understanding and create a, a very engaging text that demonstrates your personal engagement with the creative process. Also, we will continue the second lesson. After writing the introduction, we shall discuss some errors that may occur through writing, for instance, run-on sentences, and how can we reduce the run-on sentences. We can all we shall also discuss the use of fanboys. So most of you use a lot of fanboys in writing. And here in this lesson, I will I will discuss fanboys and how they're used. But also I want you to implement the use of transition words to enhance the cohesiveness and coherence of your text. And finally, we're going to examine a text and place the correct punctuation marks. So uh, here, in order to reduce run on sentences, we need to put proper punctuation marks. They're not only based on commas, so you'll need to put full stops and capitalize where necessary. So this practice will help you identify whether you need further practice or you need to review uh, a previous lesson or if you need another lesson highlighting the following errors that are common in writing. Moreover, in the third lesson, we shall discuss the importance of using literary devices in writing. So before we start with the body paragraph, we need to discuss the use of literary devices, such as metaphor, uh, symbolism, simile, personification, um, hyperbole, and others that, uh, that increases your, um, your ability to reflect your personal engagement with the creative process. And also it enriches your writing as um, not only are you writing it to enrich the writing or the text itself, but also to engage your audience and your reader in your creative process. So this is very essential. And we're going then to move on to the body structure in relation to the task requirements or task specific requirements that are evident uh, on the TSR. You can find them also in the outline. Here, we're going to reflect how it aligns. So all of, your, all of you are, were, are concerned in terms of how am I assessing you? So here, I'm going to show you precisely what I'm looking for when I say I'm going to assess your body paragraph. So it highlights in details what you should, what you, what you should mention and what you should avoid. As we, pro as we progress throughout the week, we're going to uh, explain um, what guided writing is. So before you actually start with the body paragraph, uh, which is a continuation of the introduction, we shall write one together just to ensure that you understand how we implement the use of literary devices when writing. And in the second half of the class, you're going to produce your body paragraphs that are directly consistent with your introduction. So I won't give you another prompt and ask you to produce a body paragraph. You're going to have the same prompt and develop your writing throughout. Finally, after this stressful week, I'm sure we're going to evaluate your writing. Um, so here, not only are you going to get an expert appraisal, so I'm going to assess it in other words, and also your peers. So this is called peer evaluation and they're going to determine your areas of strength and weakness. Also, throughout this lesson, you need to self-assess yourself. So there are three phases here, teacher appraisal, peer evaluation, and self-reflection, so that you can determine where you need to improve. All right, so I hope you have a lovely week, and I can't wait to see you.